fine tuning with GPT OSS and Hugging Face Transformers. By default, GPT OSS model reason in English, even when the question is in another language. So if you want to fine tune with your own language or train with your own language, here are five different steps. First set up, then prepare the data set, then prepare the model, then fine tuning and finally inference or running the trained model. At the end, you can fine tune the model and store that in Hugging Face, same like this. You can also integrate that model within your own application and I'm going to take you through step by step. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. GPT OSS, one of the latest models released by OpenAI and it's free for us to use with Apache 2.0 license, which means you can use it for commercial purpose and it's ranking higher on the benchmarks. And I'm going to use the notebook, that's the code, which I'm going to run and train this model so that it can be used later. I will put all the code and the repo in the description below so you can download and try this code for yourself. And this is the configuration which I'm using to RTX A6000 and it's from Most Compute. Use Mervin Prisoner's coupon code to get 50% off for A6000 old config. So first, installing the required libraries. So that is installing Torch. I'm clicking play. That will automatically install this Torch. Then installing the next list of packages that is TRL Peft Transformers. And now it got installed. Next, you can log into Hugging Face so you can upload this model to Hugging Face. You can enter your token here, but sometime if you find issue here, there's another option. Just open the terminal from your computer. There, just type HF auth login and then click enter. That will ask you the Hugging Face token, which you can copy from huggingface.co slash settings.tokens and then paste that here. In that way, once after you fine tune the model, you can save the model to Hugging Face. After entering the token, click enter. Now opening back the notebook, so step number two, prepare the data set. So this could be your custom data. In this case, we are going to fine tune with our own language. So we are going to use multilingual thinking data. So by default, these models don't reason with different language. So in this data set, we are having different language and their thinking process. So we're going to feed all this information so that the large language model understands in its own language and also can think in its own language, what we define. So here we got French, German, Italian, and many other languages. So we are going to load the data set using load data set function, and it consists of thousand rows. Then we need to format this data set. That is convert these data set into numbers or tokens. So by default, these large language model doesn't understand any letters or words. So we need to convert that words or the text into numbers or tokens using tokenizer. Then that information is fed to large language model then large language model that is GPT OSS will automatically again generate numbers or tokens. So that tokens need to be converted to words again using tokenizer. So this is the whole process of training the model. So that's what's happening here. We got the tokenizer loaded here. So this tokenizer will be used to convert from text or words to tokens. So here you can see tokenizer.apply chat template. This will automatically convert the chat template messages into token. So the tokens will be used by the large language model to learn the different patterns. Step number three, preparing the model. So here we are adding some configuration for the model and we are using auto model for course LLM from free trained to load the OpenAI GPT OSS 20 billion parameter model. And we are passing the configuration here. So once after the model is loaded, we can test the model how it looks before fine tuning. So directly asking the model to generate the response. And we are passing the question as input IDs. Input IDs are nothing but the tokenized version of the question. So here's the question. So these question is converted to numbers using tokenizer and that is added to the large language model as input and it generates again IDs. Then these IDs are converted back to the response or the words or text using tokenizer again. So this is the whole process which I showed you here. Original question converted to numbers or tokens passed to large, large language model and then again, the response comes as numbers or tokens. And again, it's tokenized back to the words. So here is the response. Even though I asked the question in this language, the thinking process is in English. So we need to change that. And here is the training configuration. That is LoRa config, LoRa alpha 16, R18, R8. And you can change this based on your requirement. And totally, it consists of 20 billion parameters, but we are going to use only 15 
million parameters to train it. Step number four, fine tuning. So here we are using SFT config, that's the main configuration. So here is, we are configuring it in much more detailed way, setting up the learning rates, logging steps, max length, and much more. Finally, we are saying push to hub to save this model to hugging face, and it'll get stored in this folder. Next, we are defining the SFT trainer and trainer.train to train the model. So this is where we pass the data set, the tokenizer, training arguments. So that is a previous step, training arguments, and also the PEFT model, the model which we loaded only with these layers. And then we can just click play to train the model. Now it is getting trained and you can see the training loss. The training is now completed. You can see totally it took 45 minutes to complete this whole training. And here's the final train output. Then it automatically uploaded to this location. And here is the stored trained model in Hugging Face. So you can see the file history here. It consists of adapter. So this can be combined with the base model to give us the fine tuned response. And if you want to run this model, here are the steps, just few lines of code. So this is how you can run the model which you have just trained and integrate within your own application. So this is the Python code and I'm using transformers library and here's the pipeline and I'm adding the model which I've just trained. And the reasoning language, Hindi, system prompt, reasoning language, user prompt, what is the national symbol of Canada? And I'm going to run this, python app.py in your terminal. This will automatically load the model which you have just trained. You can see that the model is getting loaded and here is the output, that is really nice. I can even try various other language here. So fine tuning the model is as simple as that. Do try and let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like fine tuning, I also create another video, which I put the link in here. It's about fine tuning with unsloth to make your fine tuning faster. And I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.